Hello to all of my friends, it's at Nintendo Live. It's -a me, Mario. Woohoo! Here with Super Ryan, number one. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello, thank you very much. <laughs> Good to see you. And you. Nice shirt you got on. Thank you very much. Yeah. Always make sure to pick the most appropriate t shirt. It's great. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Hey, that's a me! If you hadn't noticed, I'm joined by the one and only Mr. Charles Martinet. Hello. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm just great, thank you yes. very much. I, I'm, you know, I have a, such a great love affair with, with London and England. I, I absolutely love it here. And, and the people are so great, the architecture, the food, everything, the light is just fantastic. So, and and I, I'm happy to be here, absolutely thrilled to be, you know, showing and playing. A Super Mario Maker. I was actually just making a level myself. Oh wow. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't really learned very much yet because I'm sort of like, I was obsessed with gold coins for the longest time. <laughs> and now I'm trying to put, so you notice I put a couple of Goombas in there too. Just every once in a while it's, it's good to have a Goomba. Exactly. Yes, a peril. Yes. <laughs> so, first thing that I sort of have to ask you really, because everyone at home is going to want to know. Yeah. Uh, how did you become the voice of Mario and did you yeah. have any idea at all how big and important this world was going to be. I had never heard of Mario. I had never heard of Nintendo. I was doing what all the actors do, waiting for the phone to ring, and I'm out there, and, and uh, you know, uh, on the beach, the phone rings. I'm like, huh, what about that? Hello? And it was a friend of mine who said, you've got to go do this audition. It's for a trade show in Las Vegas, you know? And it's going it's to be great. I'm going to be in the show. you got to go. And I said, there's absolutely no way I would ever crash an audition. Where do I go? <laughs> and, and I have no idea, but I actually went and I, 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 I was walking in the door as the producer and director and the, 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 the cameraman were walking out with the camera under the arm. And I said, can I, can I read for this part? And he looks at me and goes, Ugh. all right, come on in. Look, look, you're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn, okay? So you're this video game character. And we're gonna glue things to your face, and you know when you so when you talk, this real time animation system is gonna make this this video game character talk at the same time. So you go, hey, how you doing? My name is Mario, and it should do the same thing based on your movements of your face. We have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but you're gonna be interacting with audiences all day long. So start talking, make up a voice, make up a video game, whatever you want. Stop talking whenever you run out of things to say, and that's your audition. And I thought to myself, self. Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Get out of my face, don't bother me, you know? And I thought, nah, I don't want to be, if I was sitting there all day long talking with their children, with their, you know, I, I like believe in fun for comedy. So I thought, well, I'll just, I'll make a voice that's more fun. And I had played Gremio in Taming of the Shrew many years before. Um, you know, nice Italian guy, talk like this. And I thought, oh, I can make that younger and then I'll just talk like that. But I know absolutely nothing about video games. Except, you know, bong, 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 <laughs> you know, and waka, 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 waka. You know, so, so my limited knowledge is that, well, oh, I forgot, asteroids, tuk, tuk, <laughs> right? So uh, I thought, um, oh, I'll just make something up, and uh, but I, you know, I, I have no idea what. All of a sudden I heard action, I said, hello, I'm a Mario, let's make a pizza pie together, you know? And I started making up this game, and I was having so much fun with the voice, because it was like, so fun, and so, you know, just, just, playful and energetic, and I thought, well, I'll just keep going, because I'm sure he's going to say stop, and, and, he, and he didn't. And so I said, well, if you're not going to say stop, then I'll keep going, and then we'll ride the kitchen sink down the hill, and if I catch you down the kitchen sink, you have to push the kitchen sink up the hill and chase me with the kitchen sink. And I just kept going and going and going, until I finally heard, stop talking, cut, there, there's no more videotape, thank you, we'll be in touch, and I thought, that's the kiss of death. You know, goodbye actor, out the door. And I went back to the beach, I watched the sunset. He got on the phone, he called Nintendo, he said, I found our Mario, I got him. And he only sent up my tape, and that was 25 years ago. Almost before you were born, young man. <laughs> you know, right? You know, so it's, it's been 25 years of absolute joy and fun, and you know, a 30 year anniversary of Mario now, and, and to see Super Mario Maker, and, and to realize that, that all the love and joy in video games, you get to be inspired and create or play other people's. I was playing other people's levels earlier today, and now I'm sort of just, you know, okay, now I'm gonna create a level with, with lots of mushrooms and powers and lots of rooms of gold coins. So you have this infinite potential of creating fun and joy yourself, you know? Watching you be the voice of Mario, we all think that must be the coolest job in the world. You know, Mario is this most recognizable character on the planet, but 
actually, do you ever feel any pressure knowing that you know, how big Mario is? You know, does your job get really tricky at times? Or? It's the coolest job yeah. in the world. It's oh, I, I, you know, I I love Nintendo. I love the video game culture. I love that people at Nintendo have such a passion for video games mm -hmm. that that's what keeps coming out over and over again through the years. And you know, I, I think that the reason that Super Mario Galaxy Two came out was because everyone was having so much fun with Galaxy One, they couldn't stop designing and engineering and creating new. Uh, enemies and new gravity put fields and, and so Mr. Miyamoto said well let's make you know number two you know and so there there's a, a possibly the greatest game ever or maybe you'll make the greatest <laughs> game ever I don't know but you know uh, it's just that that love of video games mm -hmm. and and I'm I'm so lucky to, to jump in and share on that I, I you know I, I I love recording the games it's a it's a magical gift and every session is totally fun I love coming out and meeting people who love to play games and going to fan shows and meeting fans you know it's just it, it's it's one enormous gift for me and, and something that I, I love so I never feel pressure because it's you know I, I know we all love video games and that's a common yeah. bond in the world you know do you have a a favorite memory or a favorite few memories of <laughs> working with Nintendo maybe it's a particular game that stands out well you know I my one of my favorite phone calls of my life was Mr. Mar uh, Miss, Mr. Miyamoto would like you to play Mario in a game uh, that we're going to make, and I'm like, hey, yahoo, whoopee, woohoo, and you know, going into that session of, of Mario 64 and doing that, you know, I'd been doing the real-time animation for five years uh, before, so I had a sense of, you know, really developing the character, who, you know, where, where that joyful optimism, happiness, fun, you know, facing challenge with a let's go, with, you know, and then in that session, the magic of, of doing that and recording that for the first time, and then, of course, the magic of playing the game and seeing the game. I always love that I, I go to E3 and I see, like, Galaxy for the first time, or Mario 64, or, or for the first time, or, or Super Mario Bros. You and I just I, I have that mm, sense of, of just total joy when I see the games, yeah. you know. So it's just it's just great. Every, every time I see a, a new game, and also you know for for me meeting fans is really it's it's quite something, you know. Yeah. I think it's it's an honor and it's a joy to do what I love to do in life so much and to be recognized for that, you know. Because mm -hmm. making a video game is a huge amount of work. As you will learn, as you make your each level <laughs> exactly in Super right. Mario Maker, right, you give you a, this is not, you know, I mean, it's a lot of fun, but it's very intricate. Imagine if you're creating the entire game in three dimensions and going in, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing undertaking that thousands of people eventually get involved in and, and do. And then I go in for a four hour session, I go, woohoo, yippee! You know, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. So when you when you're sitting here, you're playing Super Mario Maker. Yeah. And you you're playing as Mario, jumping around, and you're yeah. hearing your own voice. Yes. Is that weird? Is no, because I'm also doing or? it at the same time. I go, oh no! You know, whoa, 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 You know, I, I tend to play that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> have you ever have you ever been tempted over time, or have Nintendo ever mentioned ever altering Mario's voice, or is it a case of you know what we've got something perfect here? Don't touch it. You know, we, we have sound files that we, we save so that there's always that reference that you know what it's supposed to sound like. So if I or I stray from that, we can find my way back to it for all, for all the characters. And I think it's, I think it's really a, a tribute to the, the creative teams at Nintendo that every Mario game you'll ever play, if you play the 8-bit Mario, or if you play 16-bit or the 64-bit, you know, you go into the three dimensions, you'll, you'll always find a consistency of adventure. And things can change, and words and, th and things can change, but there's a consistency uh, that comes out of that love of the game, of creating that experience for the player. So, if there's a variety in the voice, it's very slight, and it's over the years, and if anything, I think there's, there's more energy and more fun as we uh, fleshed out the, the character more and more to discover that it's more optimism, it's more joy, it's yeah. more fun. And uh, I, I love that. I think that's a great piece of it to me is the consistency of it. Yeah. Mm, perfect. Yeah. And of course, you know, read it through. Got to be consistent. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think about being consistent, is that the sort of thing where you'd say we'll never change it to be like a full dialogue, Mario talking in full sentences? You always want to keep it as is the catchphrases that we have now. Well, you know, we have done some videos with Mario saying full sentences, but I trust the creative teams at Nintendo. That's a great thing about the relationship. I know that they know just 
the right amount of dialogue to put in there to make the experience about the gamer experiencing the the game, you know, and if, if suddenly Mario said, well, this is interesting, a fire flower, what do you know about that? Hmm, I wonder if I should pick it up and go with it or that. Well, maybe I'll just pick it up. You know, you'd sit there going, <laughs> yeah. It'd be a different experience, yeah, yeah. and right now I trust that that experience, and, and it is that common thread through all the games, there's a, a, you know, there's a way that that consistency makes you go, oh, it's a Mario game. Yes. I've been playing Super Mario Maker oh, probably more than any human actually should. Yahoo! It's been far too much time. <laughs> but, uh, I What's your favourite part of it? Do you like the creating? Do you like, do you like being, actually, are you the designer that makes it really difficult? I, I, at the minute, I've not been good enough at it. I keep going into it and I have to try and make all these really hard levels. Yeah. And it takes such a long time to, to be getting used to all, because the amount of things unlock as yeah. it goes along. Right, every day you get something, exactly, some new yeah, tools, so, some new toys. And yeah, 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 yeah. So I sort of want to spend time with it first. Yeah. Just appreciating how yeah. much there is, you know? Yeah. Um, but I wondered what you thought about what this is going to do for Mario platforming in the future. You know, are you excited oh, about gosh. what's going to come next? You know, and... I don't know. I think I hope there are going to be a lot of great game designers that come out of it, you yeah. know, because I think there is a real learning experience. It's like you will find that there's a Ryan genius in there where, <laughs> oh, so. well, I love to hide this, right? I love to put this there as well. Oh, I love to put that challenge there. And as people go, oh, that was great, as they give you feedback, you go, you go Oh, okay, you like that? Hmm, maybe I'll try this. Yeah. And you'll find your, that you create a certain way, the way every artist finds his style. Mm. And I think that it'll, it'll do great things for Mario games because I mean, we'll, we'll all just have fun. Exactly. <laughs> that is the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs>
and I went up to the, and my, and I, I, my sh leg was shaking like this, my right leg was shaking like this, and oh, you know, and, and of course it's like, my name is Joe, I died a terrible death in a fire, you know, it's all about this, this Spoon River anthology, everybody had died, and it was like your monologue about, about dying, you know, and I'm, you know, and I'm shaking like this, so I put my weight on that foot, and then that foot started shaking like this, I'm like, oh my goodness, and I'm going through the monologue, and I have no idea what I'm, what I'm saying, and then I go, okay, Put your weight evenly between the two, and put your legs apart more, and then put the weight evenly. Then they won't do that. And then they're both going, I guess, and I'm, and I, and I'm convinced that people hearing, uh, are hearing, I died a horrible death, 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 death. And, you know, and I, and I finished the monologue, I, I didn't die. Just suddenly, you know, I didn't die. And, and I get to the end, and people went, wow, it's amazing, because you're the only person that wasn't nervous. <laughs> and I went... What? <laughs> and you know, I, I thought, well, if that, wow, really? And I just started acting more and I, I actually didn't get a part that, that I thought I was perfect for and that set the fire of, of, of acting for me. And I started doing that and then I went back and I auditioned with the monologue for the part that I didn't get and I ended up in, in professional theater and then I came to England to the Drama Studio of London to get uh, professional training. Went back and just, I had been so fortunate to fall in from one thing to the next until this wonderful uh, work with Mario uh, came, came in. And I would say to anybody, if you want to get into acting, voice acting, film acting, television acting, theater acting, it's all the same thing. You have to uh, create a character that's real and based on part elements of, of real human beings. So studying psychology and communication is one thing. And then uh, learn how to be an actor and watch TV and watch cartoons if you want to be a cartoon actor and, and see that a guy with a big jaw might talk with that, you know, or a guy with beady eyes might talk like that. And you start doing and emulating and, and creating characters as well as just imitating other people creating characters. You, you realize as you watch people walk down the street, somebody walking a certain way might have a certain sound to his voice or you hear a, a certain accent and you respond by, by, okay, let me learn it, see if I can do that accent too. So you learn, 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 and then you get to the audition or the job and you throw all the learning out the window and you become like the ball, uh, the dog chasing the ball or the stick on the, uh, on, the, on the beach. You just go get it and have fun because Anytime you anticipate what people want, you know, oh, I'm going to sound like this, so the producer will like that. Is it, oh, we want, a, we want a resonant, experienced voice. Well, I would be resonant and experienced. Well, where is that voice for you? And if you're trying to find it for somebody else, it's just like life. It won't work, you know. It, it won't work. But the minute that you let go of that, that watching eye of you and run after the ball, run after that stick, and do it with your love and passion and joy, that's what will work for you. And that's the way, that's the way life is too, isn't it? When you do like what you do, you love what you do, and it finds its way to you. You're, you live your joy, your passion, your dream. And life is, is just like a video game, you know? <laughs> Every day you choose the character you're going to be and how you respond to the world as you go through the adventure of each level of each day, you know? And eventually you've created your destiny, your, your, your life. Again, one amazing answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, the next one is from Westermatt. Oh, yes. Uh, so my two-year-old son excitedly refers to Mario Kart 8 as I, I, I very nearly did an impression there, and I realised just he was in the room with me. No, let's thought, not do it, do it, do it. No, 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 no. Let's, oh, come on! Let's not embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to tell you what? All right, all right. What the fine is it? Okay. Uh -huh. So my two-year-old son excitedly refers to Mario Kart 8 as. Wooyah! Oh, that is for you, Wester Mac. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Uh, which he picked up from Mario. Uh, do you yeah. have a favourite catchphrase in Mario's, or have you been responsible for coming up with anything yourself? Well, you know, we, we, we do a script and then we improvise. We have ideas coming in from Japan, from America, you know, uh, from the people that work at, with Nintendo in the creative departments and that the, they know that this move or that move is going to be that way. So, yes, I invent, we all invent together. You know, and the great thing is, when you work with great creative people, nobody has to say, I said that, you know, so we all have credit for doing the, these, these fun little things. Like, I, I don't even know where spaghetti, ravioli, mamma mia came from, but I'm so glad it's there. Mm. <laughs> it's a collaborative effort, you know, mm. it really is. It's so much work to make a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like you, you learn. Although it's also so much fun to make a video game because you're, you, you get to create and the possibilities are infinite. You know, one of the things I love about Super Mario Maker is you, know, you, you can use 8-bit technology 
you know, from the original Super Mario Brothers, and you can stick it right, you know, some of those little secrets and surprises. Yeah. And there are things in there that are surprises that you will find that you may never have seen before. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, the last question oh, sure. that we have is from Cloud02. Hi, Cloud02. Uh, not necessarily the most important question, but I thought it was quite a good one. So what would be your ultimate toppings on a pizza? My ultimate toppings on a pizza. So well, we, we all just need to know this. this right? Yeah. You know, honestly, I would put a, 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 a you know a, a couple of excellent mushrooms on there. Yes. Oh yes, because I That's would like theme. one that you take a bite and <laughs> you know a, a couple of you know extra one ups. You know, so you get a little a little more life, a little more size, and that 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 that. You know, I want that sort of like something will give me that power too. Um, uh, 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 I wonder if I mean, there had to be a leaf on there, so you take one bite and you become Tanuki uh, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> but usually, but, though, honestly, it, I like pepperoni, extra, extra, extra cheese, and mushrooms. That's not that's not my perfect something. pizza. Yeah, no, I, I mm. pretty much agree with that actually. <laughs>